But when I saw that, that um, the soul did not grow from the very, very bottom concave part of the coffin bone, but actually that um, the corium from which it grew, uh, and there's other names for it, Anyway, the corium from which it grew slightly lipped up over the edge to the to the upper exterior surface. And I saw that it was there was a soul ridge there. And so I knew that's what I needed to be looking for. Meanwhile, I then go back to this book. And I want you to read you their description of the soul. Now remember, this is 1909, I believe I said, or 1906. Okay, and uh, I've never heard this in any of the more modern books I read. Okay, it says, the soul. The soul is, soul is a thick plate of horn, which in conjunction with the bars and the frog, forms the floor of the foot. In, now listen to this. In shape, it is irregularly crescentric. Its posterior portion, uh, that between the horns of the crescent, being deeply indented in a V-shaped manner to receive the frog, its upper surface, upper surface, see, the soul has an upper surface, surface, meaning he's talking about where it comes and lips up around the edge of the coffin bone. Its upper surface is convex. That is what gives you this wonderful soul ridge. That is what gives these wild horses such wonderful feet because they never got long toes and had it all pulled out of shape and they have this wonderful thick ridge of sole around the perimeter of their foot. So he says its upper surface is convex. I can't get all this in. You'll have to look it up. It's lower concave. It may be recognized as possessing two faces and two borders. Two faces, one underneath and another face slightly around the top lip of the coffin bone. But as I said, what are we told? We're told it's concave. We're told the soul is concave. We're always looking for concavity. We're looking for this thick soul. When we look at wild hooves and stuff like this, we're thinking in our head that, uh, this, that this is concavity. But it's not. You have a thick ridge of soul that grows around the lip of the coffin bone. And as it comes around, then it turns concave. It gets thinner as it goes in towards the frog. But that lip that comes around that bone produces that thick, wonderful ridge of soul that the wild horse has. And, and it will do the same thing in your horse. So if you have had a problem with a thin-soled horse and you've been doing everything to try and grow that soul, okay, the reason that you can't grow that soul is because the anatomy in that toe is not fitting together rightly for it to form that ridge of protection around the coffin bone. And this is where we get into the mapping and I'm going to show you why the mapping works and how it will help bring your toe back to where it's supposed to be so you can have that inverted V-shaped ridge which is actually the sole that is slightly growing from right um, uh, around the upper edge of the coffin bone and when it gets to the ground it's got that ridge shape and it's got to be in the right spot and everything has to be right with the anatomy of the hoof capsule fitting the anatomy of the inner foot uh, the way it was designed to and any horse can have this and so I'm going to show you by the mapping how the mapping works with what I have just told you to bring all that anatomy back together and give your horse the foot he was designed to have 